Welcome back. Today we're going to do a standard thing, meatloaf, with a twist. It's Italian style meatloaf. It's not made with brown gravy, it's made with a red gravy. And I can actually call it gravy instead of sauce because meatloaf gets gravy on it. So it's, it's a gravy. So um, it's my grandmother's recipe also. So let's, uh, let's start getting into it. Okay, so what are some of the things we're going to need today? We will need ground meat, green pepper, two eggs, two cans of sauce, one can of tomato soup, salt, pepper, breadcrumbs, plain or Italian, onion powder or salt, parsley flakes, and oregano leaves. I've already put the meat in here, one and a half pounds of ground meat, two eggs, bell pepper and we just grate it just, just you know not a whole lot just to give it flavor you don't want to get your fingers that would be extremely painful so a little green pepper right I need to get a better cheese grater. Alright. Alright, giant piece, get that out of there. And a little more. Alright. Give it a little salt, a little pepper. Pepper. Salt, onion powder, or onion salt, depending on what you have. Right. Parsley flakes. And you want to mix this up. Of course, like I tell you people always, wash your hands first. I did. Mix it up. Like so. Right. Gonna need a little bit of breadcrumbs in there. A little bit of breadcrumbs. Just to make it a little bit um, more pliable. All right. What we'll do then is we have to get our cutting board like so. We sprinkle breadcrumbs onto the cutting board. We get our meat, take our meat, and we form it into a loaf. Like so. We pick it up and we place it onto our breadcrumbs. And we're kind of just going to be making like a crust with it. Like that, like that, like that. Okay, one there, one there. Okay. Okay, so the next thing we do is we take the loaf that we just formed and we put it in our oil. Be careful. Very hot. Okay. 
Let it brown off for a little bit on all sides. We take our green pepper that we just used, the rest of it, we cut it into slices. We're going to be using that in the sauce. Slice the sauce. Make gravy. Come back over with a tongue and just move it around a little bit. All right, I've browned it off on all sides. Shut off the stove. We're going to drain off the oil in the sink. We're going to add our tomato sauce. And with each can of tomato sauce that we add, we will add one can of water. 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 We will then add our tomato soup. One can of water. Alright. And um, make sure we get all the soup out of there. Because that's what we want. We want all that thickness. We're now going to add some parsley flakes. And of course, a little oregano. We set our temperature on low because we don't want it to burn. I'm putting it on one. And we also we're going to add our green peppers to it. We let it go for an hour to an hour and 15 minutes. While it's going though, we're going to flip the meatloaf a few times because it will stick and burn at the bottom. Alright, so it's been cooking for 45 minutes or so. I've flipped it a few times. I'm going to flip it again and then this should be the final time I flip it and then it will be done. I use two of these this time because, you know, makes it easier to flip. So you can see it's nice and brown, it's not burnt, that's what we're looking for. So it's looking really good. Put the lid back on, I say about another 15, 20 minutes and we'll be ready to go. Okay, I think we're ready. So we get a plate, shut it off. Plate ready. Now what I recommend with this is mashed potatoes and some corn. You can do peas, but corn seems to work better. And a little applesauce on the side. Enjoy.